I don't never compete cause we would never even I'm the one still the one I can give you 11 reasons Rock a cucaracha, made him out of golf Answer to the altar then the plan gon' prosper Don't get lost in the hype sauce Lil' ho in the club look better with the lights off Alright, to expand on the last video about the dynamic turn signal mirrors, I'll give you a little bit better of a walkthrough on how it's all done. These here are the stock ones. Basically, we'll just be popping off that mirror. Nice uh, blind spot mirrors there too. Pop that off. Pop off the actual mirror cap itself and then I'll bring it inside and show you the rest of the process. Extremely simple. Plug and play. And this is what we are left with with the mirror cap removed. And then we'll go inside to finish up the rest of this. So here we have everything off the stock mirror cap with the stock LED turn signal and then the new dynamic module for it replacement LED assembly, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go ahead and grab a Torx T10 and take off this and replace it with the new piece. module installed on the mirror cap, old one here. We'll go ahead and install the mirror cap with the new dynamic signal in it and then wrap this up and I'll give you a little display of how it is with both the dynamic turn signal mirrors working. So that's how we go about installing the dynamic turn signal mirror uh, LED assemblies. Extremely straightforward. If you have a little bit of patience to pry off the mirror cap, that's all it takes. The rest is plug and play. Thanks again for watching. I'll have more of these kind of videos explaining what I've done. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff for the Q5 platform out there, so I figure it's about time I start explaining what I did in case other people are interested in doing this, or if they're just curious to know what I did to my car because it's a lot more than just a Q5 on bags and wheels. You are fucking up, bro. Get it together, man. Get your shit together. Come on.